Okay, now we're we going to start at Psalms 47, 6 and 7. Psalms 47, 6 and 7. So, Psalms 47 says what? It says, God, uh, no, I'm sorry. It says, uh, sing praises, phrases to God, praises to God. Okay, sing praises. Sing praises unto our king. Sing praises. It says, for God is the king of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. Okay, so it's saying sing, sing praises to the God, man. We, we singing our praises, man, now by telling you the truth. Okay, we, we giving all praises to the Most High in Christ. Okay, we not out here singing uh, Jingle Bells. Okay, we not out here singing uh, whatever Christmas songs they be singing, man. Jingle bell, jingle, jingle all the way. That ain't have nothing to do with Christ, man. At all, man. We supposed to sing songs to the Lord, man. Okay. I was born by the river. You know what I'm saying? That's what we supposed to be singing. We supposed to be singing songs to the Lord, man. Okay. We're not supposed to be singing songs to this devil. Okay. Now let's go to Revelation 21, 7 through 8. Okay. This is Revelation 21. This is in Revelation now. Let's see what this says. You know, this is at the end of the Bible too. And we almost to the end of end of this. Okay, we in Revelation now, and it's not that many chapters in Revelation. This is a real short book. So uh <clears throat> let's see, Revelation 21, 7 and 8 says what? It says, He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and will be his God and, and I will ever say I'll say he okay we're gonna start all over start all over okay it says he that overcometh shall inherit all things and I will be his God and he shall be my son it says but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and the murders and the wrong the wrong uh the whoremongers the sorcerers and the idol idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone which is the second death okay that's the second death man okay we are already dead now okay because we were born into sin okay so that's why we have to be reborn in Christ okay so you have to reborn all creatures become new okay and it says that in the Bible, uh, I can find that verse if you like. If not, just type in, all creatures become new in Bible. And push search, and the scripture will come up. You know what I'm saying? It's that easy, man. So people, hey, I can do this all day. You know what I'm saying? People are like, oh, you co nice copy and paste. Man, all I got to do is, I already got it in my mind. I already know this, a lot of this stuff in my mind. So all I got to do is type it in on a computer and then Google, oh, that, that's it. That's, that's it right there. It's power. And then I'll shoot the scripture to you. You know what I'm saying? What? You know what I'm saying? They all, all, and people are always trying to look for, for some reason to try to dis denounce you. Okay? You know, these people, they sit around and, uh, you know, you try to correct them and tell them some truth. They they get mad because the person who's correcting them. You know what I'm saying? They thought I was stupid my whole life, but now when it comes to this word of God, you got to come learn from this stupid person that you hate so much. You know what I'm saying? So I understand how you feel. You know what I'm saying? I understand it. You don't wanna you don't wanna ask me no questions because you feel like you're smarter than me. Maybe you are smarter than me. I don't know. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I do know is I know truth of this word of this book. Okay? You might be smarter than me than the, than the ways of the world. But I'm not a part of the world no more. I separated myself from the world. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. If I was still in the world, I would be rapping. I would be talking bull crap all day on Facebook just like the rest of you clowns. Okay? Talking about where the cook shit. Oh, I'm balling. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. All y'all doing is telling on yourself. You know, the, the Facebook is run by the CIA. So if you want to put all your business on Facebook book just to impress some old rational female that ain't worth nothing, some Jezebel that's bringing to you to a piece of bread, 
Go ahead. Do it. You the man. You the real nigga. Okay? I'm a fake nigga. Okay? But I, I'll be a fake nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, man. You know, you know what a nigga is? In the Bible, it means you ignorant. Okay? So when you say you I'm a real nigga, yeah, you is real ignorant. You right. You is a real nigga. You real ignorant. You real dumb. Okay? You donkey. That's what you is, a donkey, man. Okay? So understand that. And if any donkeys got a problem with it, you know where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I'll be on the same block all day long. I'll be preaching where I be preaching at all day long. I put it up every day. You got a problem, come see me. You know what I'm saying? You want to kill me? It's highly unlikely. You know what I'm saying? Because you might have a heart attack on your way to do it. You might not even make it. Okay? Because I'm protected by the armor of God. So I'm not worried about what no man want to do to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't fear no man. Okay? I fear God. That's the only person I fear. Okay? In Christ. I don't fear no man, man. I don't fear you, man. I don't fear no evil. Okay? I don't fear no devil. I don't fear no demon. Okay? I don't fear you clowns. Okay? That's what y'all are to me, man. Clowns, man. And y'all prove it every day. They get mad and talk all this stuff and try to say these little subliminal messages on Facebook. Man, if you got a problem with what I say, come to my wall like a man and say it in front of everybody so everybody can see. Okay? And if I'm the most high God make a fool out of you, that's your own fault for, for rejecting his truth, man. That's the thing about God. He don't lie. Okay? Man does. Man is a liar, man. I'm going to get that scripture real quick. Okay? Because people get this misunderstood too. Okay? Let me get this script real quick. Go to Romans 3 and 4. Romans 3 and 4. Let's see what it says. Romans 3 and 4. It says what? It says, God forbid ye. It says, let God be true. And every man a liar, as it is written, thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Okay? So we let God be true. Okay? And every man a liar. How do we let God be true? By showing what he said in the scriptures. With proof. Justification. Edification. Okay? The most of the scriptures say, study, thy, study to show thyself approval unto God. That's what I've been doing for the last five years is studying. Okay? I've just been going hard with it the last two. Okay? So so understand that, man. That God, every man is a liar, man. So we got to let God God be true. And how do we let God be true? By, by, by uh, edification of his word. By showing the justification of his word. Okay? And that's what we do, man. You know? That's another uh, thing. What do I want to say? Okay? Uh, yeah, you know. And, and, and these people, you know, they, they sit around and they laugh at you, man. They, they laugh. They're probably laughing at me right now. Like, <laughs> man, you heard how he stuttered. You heard he, he spelled that, that, that word wrong. He's stupid. They're laughing at me, okay? Well, whatever, okay? I already know this, you know? If we go to, uh, what scripture is it? If you go to Jude, if you go to Jude uh, 18, it says how, how uh, that they told you there should be mockers in the last times. There's going to be mockers of us in the last days who should walk after their own ungodly lust. Okay? Uh, these be they who separate themselves sensually having not the spirit man so they don't have the Holy Spirit so I know they're gonna mock me I know they're gonna laugh at me I know they're gonna talk about me they're gonna gossip behind about me behind my back like her Leron heard this Leron did Leron that Leron 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 but it's not Leron man this is God working through me man he's working through me with his spirit man okay so don't get it twisted Okay, you putting yourself in trouble, man, and you're gonna bring death upon yourself for those actions. Okay? And people be like, uh, you can't judge. Okay. 
Yes, it's a such thing called righteous judgment. Okay, if I see you in error, it's my job to correct you as the most high servant. So we're going to see it in the same sentence. Uh, Judah 15. 1 and 15 is, I think it is. Yeah, 1 and 15. What? It says to execute judgment upon all. It says to convince all that are ungodly among them of their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him okay these, it says these are murmurs they're complainers they're walking after their own lust okay their mouth speak of swelling words okay having men in admiration because of vanish okay but the beloved remember that ye okay remember ye the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Yahshua Hamashiach, or our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh our Lord Yahshua of Nazareth. Okay? So it's saying how they told you that Marcus should come in the last time, who should walk after their own ungodly lust. These that be, they who separate themselves sensually, having not the spirit, but ye be loved, building up yourself. Your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy. It says praying in the Holy Ghost. Okay. Keep yourselves in love of God. Looking for mercy of the Lord. Yahamashiach Yahweh The Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Unto eternal life. It says. And some have compassion. Making a difference. Okay. I have compassion. I'm trying to make a difference man. I'm trying, I'm trying to make a difference. I'm trying to change some shit in my. Some things in my life. See. See how see how they try to bring you out the spirit, but sorry man, that's just my passion man. Okay, I'm trying to change some things in my life. Put Lord, please forgive me. Okay, but man, I, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to show you man my passion man. But y'all y'all keep rejecting me like I'm just like whatever man. I'm doing this out of love man. I love y'all man. So it's saying it says and others save with fear. Pulling them out of the fire. Hating uh, even the garment spotted by the flesh. Okay. So if you sometimes like when I, I see brothers wearing these these clothes. Man they don't even know what, what garments they're supposed to be wearing. Okay. And you, you be hating when you see these people in these garments man. Okay. The garments that they be in. Like with the Slayer outfits. With the with the paganism stars on it, the Luciferian stars on it, man, that three six and all these people we wearing, man. Our people not supposed to be wearing that stuff. Okay, so it says, um it says now unto him that is able to keep your your uh falling. It says and to present your faith uh faultness before the presence of the glory with exceeding joy to the only the wise God our Savior it says, be the glory, the majesty, the dominion, power of both now and forever. Okay? So I'm showing you people my compassion, okay? By trying to make a difference, by telling you the truth. Okay? That's all I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? But it, 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 like the Bible say, man, he said, man, the, the, the foes of your the foes, the people in your household is going to be your, the, your worst enemies, man. The people that you live with is going to be your worst enemies when you come into the truth of this word. Okay? Even your blood. Okay? That's why they get the term, blood is thicker than water. No, it's not, man. Water is thicker than blood. Okay? Because Christ's blood is what? It's water. Why? Because it's pure. That's why we cover ourselves in the blood of Yahashua, uh, uh, uh Jesus Christ, or whatever you say. We wash, we wash our, our robes in the blood of Christ being renewed okay being a new creature okay by putting off sin because this blood clears us from sin okay so when y'all we get so now i got brothers in christ my my blood brothers don't love me no more okay i'm not saying all of them i'm just saying my blood relatives blood people they got they despise me they envy me they got a problem with me they don't want to believe me they, they, how, well, how do you know this? Eh? You can't do that, Lorraine. You can't, how can you tell me what to do if you don't even read this book? 